Yes, hello everyone. Welcome again to the channel. I want to say thank you so much because of your great support. I'm so much humbled for your continuity to support the analysis of this channel. Now, the big mistake that William Samaruto did was to outwit his boss, that is Uhuru Kenyatta, who is the president of the Republic of Kenya. I think what William Samaruto did, he is now regretting. And in, in a matter of fact, it is irreversible. Whatever Uhuru Kenyatta is trying his best to ensure is that to make William Samaruto not to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. Because of after this all kind of issues came out, where William Samaruto and certain uh, members from Mon Kenya region ganged up against Uhuru Kenyatta's government, claiming that the government of Uhuru Kenyatta was failure to Kenyans at large, that whatever they promised to the people was not fulfilled according to the way they were expecting. So Kenyans, I don't think if the decision that William Samaruto made to go and destroy the name of Uhuru Kenyatta in Mount Kenya region, in fact in his backyard, was a good decision that he was looking for, for succession when it comes to this politics of 2022. As a matter of fact, you see that uh, uh, William Samaruto is regretting for outwitting his boss, that is Uhuru Kenyatta, that if he could have not outwitted his boss, this race could have been easier for him. But because of that continuity, of continuing to sideline Uhuru Kenyatta and sabotaging everything that Uhuru Kenyatta is doing, is making U William Samaruto as if he's a person that is not sure when it comes to this general election and also he is panicking. Because this action and repercussion that is waiting for William Samaruto is after he started taking credits to the success, success of a uh, Jubilee government but is, is, uh, is disregarding himself and um, not associating himself with the failures of Jubilee Party. And that is why you see that Uhuru Kenyatta, when he addresses the congregation or any crowd, you always say that William Samaruto has been a person and also a person that was elected with him in the same ticket, but has failed him terribly by not offering uh, his mandate as the way the constitution uh, I don't know, as uh, by the way they agreed. So whatever is remaining now, and the way you can see ground is uh, doing, is that repercussion is now starting to come out. Where William Samaruto is feeling like the ground is now shifting. After that effort that Uhuru Kenyatta has always been doing to ensure that, what, uh, to ensure that William Samaruto is not going to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. And of course, even you can see the signals that is coming from Uhuru Kenyatta is, to, is, is showing the true reality that if William Samaruto is going to be elected as the next president of the Republic of Kenya, with of course his brigade, that is uh, people like Rigadi Gashagwa and others, they are going to bring down this country. Though they are com com this Kenya Kwanza Alliance are complaining, the, the economy uh, has been sabotaged by the government of Jubilee. That when it comes to the food prices, is higher as a, unexpected. So what I know, and the way you see Huru Kenyatta is answering them, is asking them, you are complaining that food stuffs are high, you're complaining that you are borrowing too much, why can't you come and give us a solution or even advice so that we can see what next. But as per whatever is happening to William Samaruto and their brigades, they are trying to outshine their boss Uhuru Kenyatta, but again to get credits from the success of Jubilee Party government. So what we know, politically speaking, is that the person that is waiting for the severe repercussion that either will mold his political career 
or destroy his political career. This is none other than uh, William Samuruto. Because what I understand, Uhuru Kenyatta is not a happy man and politician and as the president of the Republic of Kenya. The way William Samuruto has done everything and has already made his backyard to reject him terribly. And of course, whatever William Samuruto did that made William Samuruto uh, as an uh, angry man is that uh, he has maintained to tell the Mount Kenya region people, who is the people of Uhuru Kenyatta, that Uhuru Kenyatta is not a good person, that he has failed them when it comes to development of Mount Kenya region. So Kenyans, whatever William Samuruto has done when it comes to outwitting his boss, that is Uhuru Kenyatta, is not easy for him. And actually, if this is going to make William Samaruto to fail, he is already failing. Because even you can see when Uhuru Kenyatta was addressing Madaraka Day the other day, he was hitting his deputy. For now, ganging up, saying that his government, that uh, whatever his government is doing, is that to build roads. Then the, William Samuruto's brigade are saying that Kenyans cannot hit roads, pe Kenyans cannot eat hospitals, people cannot eat this development that they, 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 they are doing, that Kenyans need money in their pockets. So Kenyans, is, are you seeing a true indication that whatever William Samuruto has done against the will of Uhuru Kenyatta, of course his boss, it, it is irreversible. And of course, you can see enough, uh, the way Uhuru Kenyatta is doing, enough is enough for Uhuru Kenyatta. So whatever is appealing is to ensure that Raila Mulodinga to take uh, over when it comes to the leadership across the Republic of Kenya. So Kenyans, what are your thoughts? Drop op your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. If you are a visitor, subscribe. If you are returning subscribers, thank you so much. God bless you. Till we meet on another video. Bye-bye.